Disney Channel has many pieces of lost media that has accumulated over the 40 plus years of the channel, all from lost series pilots to spin-offs, games, and many more. After the major success that my lost media, controversies, and banned episodes for Wings Club video had, I would like to welcome you all to episode 2 of my lost media series. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next episode of the series. So today, we are going to tackle some of the many lost media for Disney Channel. Lost Lizzie McGuire Season 3 Reboot From 2001 to 2004, Lizzie McGuire aired on the Disney Channel starring Hilary Duff. In August of 2019, the revival was announced and in October 2019, production had begun on the Season 3 reboot for the show, which was slated to air on Disney+, Plus, which would have followed a 30-year-old Lizzie who is now living in New York City and is the apprentice to an interior decorator and has a fiancé who she later finds out cheated on her causing her to move back to LA. However, in January of 2020, showrunner Terry Minsky left the project and later in February, Hilary Duff stated that production halted due to Disney deeming the project not suitable for family-friendly audiences, which caused Duff to want the series to be moved to Hulu. Overall, due to creative differences, the revival was canceled in December of that same year. Only two episodes were produced and after its cancellation, no footage, plot details or trailers were released. The only little piece we have of the cancelled show is a short clip at 44 seconds of a Disney Plus reel to promote the service and what was to come in 2020. The whole show in its entirety is currently lost. Lost 2009 Jesse Pilot From 2011 to 2015, the show Jesse aired on the Disney Channel following a nanny in New York who wants to be an actress. According to the Lost Media Archive, there is a section titled Jesse Lost 2009 Pilot. There is nothing about this missing pilot. The only thing that this site reads on it is this. Jesse is an American sitcom television series that aired from 2011 to 2015 on Disney Channel. However, there was a pilot episode. That's it. No screenshots, promos, or anything else. After doing some digging on Wikipedia to see when casting and production started, the casting search began in May of 2011, and production started in June of 2011, meaning that if there was a pilot for Jesse in 2009, it would have had a whole different cast than the Ross kids in the final draft. Apparently, the creator of Jesse, Pamela Ellis O'Connell, had worked with Debbie Ryan on The Sweet Life on Deck, and talks about her own show began as A Sweet Life on Deck was nearing its end in 2011. The pilot most likely would have only had Debbie Ryan in it with a whole other cast, and that's even considering if Debbie was in the pilot as A Sweet Life started in 2008 and didn't end until 2011. So to what I'm gathering is that the existence of this quote-unquote lost pilot is unconfirmed, as there is little to no proof to even prove its existence. Lost Shake It Up Original Pilot According to the Redditor Disney Channel H, who posted this in the r slash Lost Media subreddit, they make the claim that Shake It Up, which aired from 2010 to 2013, has a different Lost pilot compared to the one we were given, with the main reason being this leaked, unused Shake It Up intro that was posted in 2011 on YouTube. The intro shows all the characters that are seen in the final draft except for one. The actress who plays Tinka, Caroline Sunshine, who originally was not going to play Tinka. Instead, actress Stephanie Scott was cast as Tinka. However, once she landed the role of Lexi Reed on Ant Farm, which started airing in 2011, she backed out of the role of Tinka, which was then given to Caroline Sunshine, who ironically was first given the role of Lexi in Ant Farm. Supposedly, with one of the reasons being that Stephanie couldn't nail the accent that Tinka has, that's why she lost her role and the role switch happened. Caroline Sunshine does make an appearance in a promo that was released before the premiere of Shake It Up. So the Reddit user suggests that a pilot was possibly shot with Stephanie Scott before she left for Ant Farm, which the timelines do in fact make sense. 
The production of Shake It Up started sometime in May of 2010, but casting began in October of 2009. With Ant Farm, casting also started in 2009 and production began early 2011. And because the two actresses were switched for the roles of Tinka and Lexi, there is even a small possibility that Ant Farm has a lost pilot with Caroline Sunshine playing Lexi. Overall, if there is an original Shake It Up pilot with Stephanie Scott, then it has never seen the light of day. And to this day, the only thing proving its existence are Wikipedia articles stating how she was given that role first and a picture of Stephanie with Kenton Duty, who played Guter in the show. Hannah Montana Lost Anime Adaptation From 2006 to 2011, Hannah Montana aired on the Disney Channel starring Miley Cyrus, who would kickstart her career as Hannah. In 2010, it was leaked that the show was to receive an anime adaptation by Toei Animation, by an animator named Wasted Wisher, who stated he had been working on some sequences for an unannounced Hannah Montana anime with production beginning in 2009. Toei and Disney never publicly acknowledged the adaptation, and Wasted Wisher was later fired from Toei due to being behind a number of show leaks. Two sources were able to confirm production had occurred on the anime, one being Wasted Wisher and the other being a worker for Toei. The status is currently lost with no promos, episodes, or anything. However, the YouTuber L Supersonic Q has made a whole video on this topic for any of you who might be interested in knowing more. The all-new Mickey Mouse Club Lost Episodes In 1989, Disney had released the third incarnation of its series, The Mickey Mouse Club, reimagining the original 1950 show for a newer audience. The show is most notable for launching several stars that we would come to know, such as Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Ryan Gosling, and Justin Timberlake. The show would run until 1994. However, ironically, episodes are pretty scarce to come by, even though the show was pretty popular for the time being, and the fact that the show ran for five years with seven seasons being produced. Various episodes from the first six seasons and performance clips can be found on YouTube. However, full episodes are hard to come by. In 2005, there was a DVD release titled The Mickey Mouse Club, The Best of Britney, Justin, and Christina, which contained four episodes of season six as well as performance clips. Overall, the status is partially found. Phineas and Ferb Lost Theatrical Film From 2007 to 2015, Phineas and Ferb premiered on the Disney Channel. The show released its first TV film in 2011, named Phineas and Ferb Across the Second Dimension. However, also in 2011, Disney announced a theatrical film for release in 2013, named by fans Phineas and Ferb. The release date was originally set for July 26, 2013. It was then postponed to September 28, 2013, then moved to 2014 until it was cancelled. Jeff Swampy Marsh, one of the creators of the show, simply put it that the film was on hold for the time being, not cancelled. On July 12, 2015, Jim Hill Media announced on Twitter that the film had a completed script ready. However, nothing else of the film ever resurfaced. No promos, clips, or anything. However, later in 2019, a film titled Candace Against the Universe was announced to be releasing on Disney Plus on August 28th of 2019. Many speculate that this was the theatrical film for Phineas and Ferb, and that this was the plot for the film. However, that was further from the truth. Jim Bernstein, one of the writers for the movie, stated it was a separate project from the proposed theatrical film, meaning that the script or any production material will most likely never see the light of day. So as of the making of this video, the movie is completely lost. Lost Dish Network Disney Channel Games Starting in 2007, Disney released Disney Channel Interactive, which was a service exclusively offered to those who had Dish Network. Using a remote, the viewer could access the games by going to Channel 100. The service included games from shows like Hannah Montana, Ant Farm, and The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. It is unknown the exact date of when the Disney Channel Interactive service was cancelled, with the only press releases talking about the service sometime in 2010. 
with the likely reason that the shows featured on the interactive were either canceled or had ended. The games were all wiped from the system. However, someone was able to get into contact with an employee of Interactive Television Games, who gave a clear list of all the games that were available to play on the system. Some of those games include, but are not limited to, Ant Farm Escape the Squad, Austin and Alley Perfect Sound, Camp Rock 2 Melody Hunt, Fish Hooks Pearl Bounce, Good Luck Charlie Ball Wall, Gravity Falls Obstacle Course, Hannah Montana Connect Show, High School Musical 2 Mini Golf, Wizards of Waverly Place Spell Battle. All of these games, as well as the rest on the list, are currently fully lost with no screenshots, gameplay footage, or anything surfacing. The only game from the service that has a screenshot and a 1 minute 13 second video of gameplay footage is A Sweet Life of Zack and Cody Tipton Token Face Off, which is partially found. Hey, I'm Brenda Soft with Sweet Life on Deck, and you're watching Disney Channel. Lost Disney Channel Wand Idents. Beginning in 2003, the Disney Channel Wand Idents, with the stars of many of our favorite Disney Channel shows, would do the iconic My Name Is from and you're watching the Disney Channel, then drawing the Disney logo. However, over the years, there are countless lost bumpers featuring many actors and many cartoons over the 20 year run of this. Many of the show idents include, but are not limited to, 2003, Even Stevens, Adam Lamberg, 2006, That's So Raven, Kyle Massey, 2008, Hannah Montana, Miley Cyrus, and Emily Osment, 2008, Life with Derek, Ariel Walker, Ashley Leggett, and Joy Tanner. 2009, Jonas, Jonas Brothers, short version. 2009, Zeke and Luther, Adam Hicks, Daniel Curtis Lee, and Hutch Daniel. 2010, Good Luck Charlie, Leah Allen Baker. 2012, Good Luck Charlie, Mia Telerisio. As for the movie idents, these include, but are not limited to, 2003, Kat Kelly, Hilary Duff. 2003, Get a Clue, Lindsay Lohan. 2004, The Cheetah Girls, Sabrina Bryan. 2006, High School Musical, Zac Efron, Vanessa Hudgens, Monique Coleman, Lucas Gabriel, Corbin Blue, and Ashley Tisdale. Good God, the entire cast. 2006, Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, Brenda Song, with the existence unconfirmed. 2007, High School Musical 2, Ashley Tisdale. 2008, Camp Rock, Allison Stoner. 2008, High School Musical 3, Ashley Tisdale. 2009, Camp Rock, Kevin Jonas. 2010, Camp Rock 2, Demi Lovato, Allison Stoner, and Roshan Fagan. 2011, Geek Charming, Andrea Brooks, Lily Simmons, Sarah Hyland, and Vanessa Morgan. 2011, Sharpay's Fabulous Adventure, Ashley Tisdale. They really did her dirty by losing all her wand idents. 2019, Descendants 3, Brenna D'Amicio, and China Emma Klein, with the existence of China as being unconfirmed. Fish Hooks, partially found original pilot. In 2009, a pilot for the series Fish Hooks was produced, being the original concept with the possible working title being Fish Tales rather than Fish Hooks. The length of the original pilot is five minutes long. It's known that Chelsea Kane, who voiced B in the series, did voice B in the pilot. However, the voices of Oscar, Milo, and other characters are completely different in the pilot from the final draft. From screenshots posted from the pilot, it shows the character design of B looking really similar to her final draft. However, Milo and Oscar have completely switched character designs and color palettes. Some footage of the pilot has been released. However, the full pilot is still lost, making this partially found. What's Stevie thinking? Lost, unaired spinoff of Lizzie McGuire. In 2003, after the release of the Lizzie McGuire movie, the Lizzie McGuire series was to end production due to financial issues and contractual differences between Disney and Hilary Duff's management. Prior to this, the topic of spin-offs occurred, with the writers and Disney proposing to make a whole spin-off regarding the character Miranda from Lizzie McGuire, and it would be titled What's Stevie Thinking, which would follow Miranda's younger sister Stevie, who would be played by Selena Gomez which would have been her debut before Wizards of Waverly Place. The show would have been about Stevie's family moving to Australia and working at a zoo. In February of 2005, the pilot was filmed, causing the character of Miranda to be absent in the final episodes of Lizzie McGuire. The pilot was pitched to Disney later that year. However, 
there was only one show that was to be picked up that year. And with the pitch of Hannah Montana around that time, Disney made the choice between Hannah Montana and What's Stevie Thinking? Picking Hannah Montana as the network thought the Lizzie McGuire series had run its course. The pilot has never resurfaced, but has been mentioned a couple of times. Overall, the pilot is lost. The Cheetah Girls ABC sitcom pilot. The Disney movie series, The Cheetah Girls, which created a real life girl group of the same name, had talks about the possibility of a TV series for an ABC sitcom. The plot was unknown, but the production was meant to start in 2004. However, due to Raven Simone starring in her own show, That's So Raven, this put her and the Cheetah Girls at odds. For a while, fans believed that a pilot was shot and filmed for the canceled show. However, that was further from the truth. In 2019, Kelly Williams and Sabrina Bryan stated that doing a Cheetah Girls TV show was always talked about, but there was never anything real happening with it. The girls were also never given a script. So with that being said, the pilot is confirmed to be non-existent. The Proud Family unaired Nickelodeon pilot. From 2001 to 2005, the very first Disney Channel original animated series aired, spanning three seasons, which was The Proud Family. However, before Disney picked up the series, a pilot was originally pitched to Nickelodeon in 1998. The show began a small bit of production in 1999, until Nick decided to pass on the series, causing Disney to approve the show and airing it in 2001. There are many differences in the pilot compared to the final draft, such as Penny's hairstyle being different, DeAndre's name originally being Delinquineta, a different layout for the Proud House, everyone's eyes are different, and many more. As of 2016, the only footage of the pilot that has been shown appears in early 2000s promos with the possibility of this being an early version of the episode Rumors. On April 24, 2016, Bruce W. Smith confirmed that the Nickelodeon pilot is real, but has never aired, making this pilot in its entirety lost. But because early 2000s promos, screen caps, and short clips exist containing the unaired pilot, the pilot is partially found. So to end this video off, most likely all of these lost media excerpts are not lost and are just hidden in Disney's vault. These are just lost media that we are aware of as well as lost media that we have found from memory. Like mentioned, these are most likely not even lost as Disney would possibly have these tucked away somewhere. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed episode two of the series. I really want to continue making this series. I'm actually having really fun researching all these topics and compiling them into a video for you guys anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe and share comment down below what else you guys want me to talk about on my channel i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay safe and i'll see you guys next time on my channel bye guys